What's up guys? We are doing a another round of Black Friday related content. We today are visiting Micro Center, which Micro Center is a cool computer, mostly computer focused shop. Um, it's like if you'd ever had a CompUSA or a really old school Best Buy back in the day, um, you'd be comparable to something similar of that if you don't have one near you. Uh, if you don't, I'm <laughs> it's <sighs> you're missing out on a lot. Um, they have lots of parts, lots of computers, lots of tinkering and uh, STEM learning things. They also have good deals on um, electronics, 3D printers, TVs. Um, yeah, so we're going to look through Black Friday deals, and if we don't So, um, yeah, let's start with from the top. It says we have 80 items. We're not going to look at each item just because there's so many things that I don't think the general public will be that interested in. So we'll just scan through these and kind of go back as we find things that are interesting. So we're just looking at sorting by the closest match, which is just their order. Um, first up is a $100 uh super basic laptop um i there's a bunch of these kind of things that get thrown out every year where there's a hundred dollar tablet hundred dollar laptop hundred dollar desktop uh most of the time you're going to be better off getting something a little more expensive um even if it was 300 bucks originally it's run with a celeron which is the lowest end cpu that a laptop can have uh, it's just running some weird specs. If you need a super cheap Chromebook style thing, but it's probably running Windows. Uh, yeah, it's winding, running, it's running Windows. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to look too far into that. Uh, another budget friendly Lenovo, um, and a 15 inch HP laptop. All those are decent pricing. Nothing too crazy. Uh, if we skip next to the um, desktop, Lenovo, I think in the last video, Lenovo always has a couple cheaper desktop out, desktops out there. Um, if you're looking for something pretty current, this is last gen CPUs. Um, it's an 11th gen, but it has a RTX 3060 for 850 bucks, um, 16 gigs of RAM, dual drive, so it's a SSD and a spinning drive, so you have lots of room for storage. That's not a bad deal. Um, if we were to look up something similar, let's double check it. Um, Lenovo 11500 3060, oopsie, 4060, 3060 on Amazon. That's right. Uh, doesn't exist. That configuration does not exist. Um, you can get an i7 for a thousand dollars. Do Intel 16 gig 360 desktops. Um, hmm. <laughs> Amazon is sometimes really goofy with its results. Someone with a walkie-talkie is somewhere in the building. Um, you can get a newer one through Amazon. I think this is similar to the one that was on Best Buys. Um, there's a Skytech. I wouldn't buy that just because it's two generations old. HP... 32 gigs, two generation old CPU, um, <laughs> 3060 with a 12400F versus the Lenovo, which has a 12400. Um, let's look at that one. 16 gigs, I don't really like that. Thirty 
50. Yeah, so we'll put... the Lenovo um, one in the description. It's competitive. Um, you're going to get a newer CPU. But like I said, uh, Micro Center has some killer deals. Typically, this one's in-store only. Again, because that's just what it is. They're not going to ship. Um, there's probably some restrictions on that. 12700K for those that are building PCs or looking to build PCs. Um, if we just look up a 12700K in Amazon land, yeah, it's about, if you wanted KF, which has no integrated graphics, you're going to save 10 bucks. But, you know, um, that's if you have Adobe, if you're a creative uh, worker with video, you're going to want the integrated graphics just because it's going to speed up rendering. So you're going to save roughly 15 bucks going through the in-store only. So we'll link that option below. I'll also link the KF just in case you're looking at gaming only and you don't need um, the integrated graphics. Like I said, uh, you're not gonna be running a 12700K or a KF without a graphics card unless you're insane. Um, the reason why you'd want the integrated graphics built in is that Adobe will actually use that to accelerate rendering through, um, what do they call it? Quick sync, I think is what they're calling it. Um, and so if you're just doing gaming and you want to save 10 bucks, I guess you could do that. It also would reduce, um, parts that can get warm. So it would keep in theory, your PC may be cooler. Um, 3,600. Ryzen, obviously it's an old uh, chip at this point, but, you know, if we're looking that uh, 129, it's not an X, not that that makes a big difference, but you can find it on Amazon for cheaper. So in this case, um, you know, it's going to be cheaper through Amazon. Also, I would be tempted to go and say, well, what's a 5600? Yeah, so I just go, I would just go straight to the 5600 um, Ryzen because it's going to be newer. Um, it's going to be a little bit faster. Um, it's the same price as the older version. Um, Say is new rising out. Uh, yeah, 7600 is too expensive. So, um, with Micro Center, like I said, a lot of the deals are going to be a better deal than the average one. It's just some things obviously don't pan out that way. Um, motherboards, <sighs> motherboards right now are super expensive. Um, we've gone from a world where you could buy a motherboard that was okay not great for 60 to 80 bucks. And now the budget ones are $95 and nothing has really changed. Like this B450 has been out forever. Um, and it's a DS three H, which basically B450 M is a smaller motherboard. 50 denotes that it's not in the bottom tier, but it's like second from the bottom. There's a 70 and a 90 probably or variations of that. And so this motherboard, brand new, when it first came out, was probably $55 to $75 for most retailers. So you're just kind of losing on the fact that motherboards have gotten a lot more expensive. Um, yeah, even on Amazon, we'll link this one. So if you're looking for a, an older Ryzen B450 aged board, so it's going to support... 3000 and 5000 series. Um, well, it's the second and third. It technically supports fifth, but you might have to have an old CPU to update the BIOS. It's kind of a mess. Um, and if we went B550 to match that CPU we're looking at with the 5600, you're looking at 
uh, I would personally, if I'm going budget friendly, I'm going with this ASRock B550M. You're not going to really, if you're looking at this price point, um, you're not going to really see a lot of features between all of these that are different. Um, you're going to only have two sockets for RAM most of the time. You're only going to have one or two sockets for NVMe or M.2 drives. A couple SATA ports. Um, power is going to be limited. You're not going to be doing a lot of overclocking. Uh, that sort of thing. So if you wanted to step up, obviously, to something with a four card or four slot um memory and get more memory that way you could but like i said uh you're going probably budget with these and so you'd probably just buy two sticks of ram and be fine with that you know you can get 16 or 32 gigs for about 100 to 140 dollars so you're not going to really want to go crazy on your ram and that's more or less the only thing you'll really be lacking um like, a lot of these boards have optional PCIe slots and all this expansion stuff. You're probably just going to be running a, a 3060 or a 2060 if you, now that those are super cheap um, used. And get that 5600 um, Ryzen instead of the 3600 that we were looking at. Them, I'd be curious to see if Micro Center themselves have... 5600 for cheaper and it doesn't even handle yeah so yeah 56 psh, get out of here <laughs> yeah micro center has the 5600 cheaper than the 3600 so like i said with i think we'll have to revisit this is a current and constant topic is just because it's on a black friday to sale just with that cpu alone it proves that Black Friday sales might not actually be the sale you're looking for. <laughs> Sounds like a movie line. Um, yeah, you can get a 5800X for 200 bucks. So the, the first posted things that seem like it's a great percentage off might just be because they're two or three years old. Um, AirPods, we saw that with Best Buy. The second gen versus the now third gen that's out. Um, CPUs... They've released the 7th or 7,000, which is the fourth series of Ryzen. So if you're buying 3,000 series, it's probably super outdated. Uh, CPUs with Intel 1300 is now out. It's kind of now getting to the point where the drivers and all the software is probably going to make it where 13 series for Intel makes sense. Uh, when it first was released, it was sort of a mess. Um, again, Z590 motherboards for 200 bucks. It's up 40, 50 bucks from less than a year ago, I think, maybe a year ago. Um, the big things you're going to be looking at for storage for computers with this kind of shop is look at uh, look how much SSDs have gone down in price. So Samsung is historically the best company for reliability on ssds obviously there's a bunch of other brands that exist but not everybody sells those so if you're looking at a best buy or amazon or whatever it may be a lot of the time samsung is the one that is consistently available um so if we look at samsung nvme one terabyte um they're just they just have a better longevity um a lot of companies <coughs> Excuse me. They just have a better longevity. Most of the companies out there that are making uh, M.2 drives now are sourcing from some company. Um, this is a, another topic that will probably be revisited in uh, going through anything that we, we buy. Most products are not made by the company that's labeled, labeled on top. So there's like, there's Kingston and there's Samsung and there's Toshiba and Hynix and Intel and Next Storage and like on and on. And that's just even Western Digital, all these things that are labeled just through this search. And I would bet you that some of those manufacturers overlap and they're being a lot of the parts are being produced by other companies. And so the controllers and the actual modules on that board might not just be Samsung, it might be other companies too. 
Um, but what we're looking at as far as, you know, this goes the, the, the 980 SSD, uh, one terabyte. That's such a killer deal from a year or two ago for 80 bucks. Um, realistically, you don't probably need a lot more than that. If you're doing, you know, light gaming, if you're super heavy into story games and you have Warzone and all the call of duties that have come out, you're going to be running, you know, 500 gigs just with like two or three games. So you might creep into needing, um, two terabytes. Uh, obviously the bigger storage you go, the more money you're going to spend. And unfortunately, Apple has the same model, uh, that has ruined storage pricing. So, in, you know, in logic land, we would say, well, I'm buying, you know, two terabytes. So it might be like twice as much or whatever. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, like some of these are more than that um so this would be a good alternative the samsung 970 evo it's not a 980 evo or a 980 pro but um you're not going to really be missing out on a lot of things that are even noticeable it might be a touch faster to get the 980 um, again your motherboard would have to support that and most activities you're not going to see a giant boost in uh performance with that minor of a change so um the 980 ssd uh, m.2 nvme drive from micro center great price um i wouldn't they have the in-store inland brand it's probably fine you're gonna get a killer deal at two terabytes for 80 bucks again it's in-house so they're able to price it accordingly um, if you're looking for something that's not going to be with you for years and years and years, and you're not doing business work on it, and so reliability is less of a factor, I would say the Inland 2 terabyte NVMe is going to be killer. Again, it's not made by Inland or Micro Center, which is the brand of Micro Center is Inland. Um, so they're, they're going to be sharing a lot of other parts with other companies. And so you're not buying like, Micro Center is not assembling it in the back. That's what I'm saying. Um, we're kind of glancing over some of these laptops just because laptops are so funny because uh, of how they're specced and all these companies basically produce like 30 versions of the same model, but then they call it a different model and they charge it, you know, based on whatever they feel at that day. Um, if you're looking for a pretty current uh, gaming laptop with a big screen, 17 inch laptop with a 6800 Ryzen CPU, 3060 graphics card is kind of light. Um, but there's, there's a whole thing about all these video cards and laptops. If you get a 3080 on a laptop, it's probably closer to a 3060 on a desktop anyways. Um, so the 3060 is a little light, but a thousand dollar laptop. It's much better than this one right next to it, which is the um, dedicated or integrated graphics um, super light thing that's like a 16 inch laptop. That would be more for portable work uh, if you're not into gaming. Uh, again, this is, like I said, 15 inch version of the 17 inch version, which has then a 3070 instead of the, but then it also has this knockdown like Intel H model, which is able to boost high it's like laptops is a whole other video that we have to deal with um if you need a great big mouse pad uh this is one of the versions that micro center has that has uh leds built in what i would say is just go there if there's a store near you they have so many mouse pads for so cheap that'd be worth looking at um uh, if you don't have a micro center like we said we can go in and check out just double xl mouse pads um i would i would go honestly with some of the cheaper ones um most of the high-end products you're not going to really see a lot of difference um let's see classic thick yeah so steel series um they usually typically make a decent product um and it's going to be similar in pricing um, obviously you have their logo on there, which is a little different. It's not LED. Um, 
I don't really know if LED mouse pads, right, like, is that a big deal? You can probably find them for technically cheaper, um, because I don't really, I don't know if they're made as well as the other ones. I will type this one in the description just because it's a little cheaper and it's available everywhere, but it's normally $24 instead of $22. This one's $23 kind of splitting hairs uh if you need a cheap mouse eight bucks you're not going to find much better than that uh it's inland brand mechanical keyboard it's probably not a true mechanical keyboard it's some kind of membrane switch thing that has a mechanical feel um red dragon more budget friendly mice uh same with the keyboard um thousand watt power supply if you're running a 4090 i guess you could take advantage of this um i have never owned an msi power supply uh they haven't been making them for that long but 200 bucks is kind of here there and everywhere uh you could go for the tried and true hx 1000 um that guy it's kind of been around forever um, and they make so many different versions of it. Yeah, it's like I would literally just go grab the Amazon Renewed, save almost a hundred bucks. Uh, so then you're cheaper than the MSI. And this one is literally meant to plug into everything. So it has an overkill of plugs and availability. Um, and then we're going to go into like, there's simple, like $10 off, $10 off Lee and Lee. Uh, what gets hard with online with cases is that they're having to ship them to you. So, um, if you just look up Lee and Lee case, you know, they're going to be riding around a hundred bucks just because they have to ship it to your house. Whereas micro center is getting thousands of these products shipped all together so it obviously reduces the overall cost of that so you're not going to really find um online there's not very many cases that are very cheap there's a there's very little 40 50 cases anymore that are worth anything that you can have shipped but like micro center will have um on a non-black friday deal it's the montech case um they make a bunch of versions but yeah you can buy x1 or x3 or all these different versions the x1 and the x3 are pretty similar um but if you're looking for a budget case that just fits most parts it's going to fit a 250 or a 240 millimeter uh liquid cooler if you want it in there you know every other variation of motherboard atx matx um will fit in that case it's just not made to be super heavy duty so if you're you know doing a lot of moving around with your desktop i guess LAN parties if that's still a thing for you um this case is not going to hold up well but just to sit on your computer desk and chill there is going to work great it's super super affordable um as there sounds like people are dropping stuff above my head. Um, then we start tilting into more laptops, budget, Dell and Spawn desktops. You, if anybody tells me they bought a Dell and Spawn laptop or desktop, I will tell them that they should probably return it. Um, and Spawn has kind of been their entry level forever, and all the issues that and PR issues that they have are typically circling around their low end products if they get better or worse i don't you can buy the same um you can buy a dell with a better product skew and a better level of performance and it's not an inspiron and it probably costs 50 to 100 bucks more so that's not impressive to have 30 dollars off high-end computer uh 3070 ti 12700k you could probably build it for a little cheaper power spec is another in-house brand for 
micro center so i would imagine that's pretty competitive on pricing um surprisingly tvs with micro center has gotten really good so they have like a 65 inch lg for 450 bucks 460 bucks um q7570 so it'd be a fairly new tv um 7000 makes it mid high tier not super high but like pretty up there um because it'll have five and six below that um but you could buy last year's model of 9000 for 536 you could get a 65 inch 75 so that might be the same similar tv similar um 650 so like i said is uh micro center will have some random deals that they have with their stuff like this so this is supposed to be a 700 dollars tv i would say it's worth every bit of 600 dollars. so 430 is still a killer deal again in store only the 43 inch tv for 250 is seemingly competitive uh you can buy 50 inch tvs for 300 bucks though they're not lg or anything high end but you can still do that um logitech wireless gaming headsets for 50 bucks wireless headset at any point is worth 30 or 40 dollars so if we just grab the g30 g435 headset g435 and oh there we go everybody else has it for 50 dollars as well um i'd be curious oh that's killer um interesting so if you buy the white one right now it's super cheap uh i would go 100 percent in on that um it supposedly works with everything besides xbox because xbox is a jerk um and they only, only use proprietary headsets that are wireless um so micro center basically just uh got absolutely obliterated unfortunately on that pricing the black one if you want that it costs the same price on amazon mm, charging see this is what's funny is like there's stuff like this where a wireless charger for three bucks i wouldn't go drive specifically for that but if i was going and buying other stuff that's super super cool for three dollars to have a wireless charger you can just buy like five of them and have them around your house in your office um 99 cents off of a microphone sure uh then they have gaming mouse pads galore like i said before there's a bunch of different options um i linked the big one just because big mouse pads are kind of I think still a little bit of a secret. People don't know that the, you can just have your whole desk be a mouse pad instead of that tiny little uh, piece of fabric to worry about. Uh, Red Dragon keyboards, keycaps, keycaps. That's a very odd product to have a bunch of keycaps. Um, office chairs. Ooh. Gaming office chairs, uh, main gear obviously makes a bunch of them inland probably has someone or main gear making them. Uh, I'm a big dude. So gaming office chairs are usually too small and they don't really hold up very well. So there's a bunch of reviews on those. If you want to check them out, uh, I had to go with something that would just even hold my weight. Um, so if we look at like the basic inland, uh it says max weight supported is 300 that might be right uh but most of these chairs when you look at chairs are 220 uh the other inland was 350 pounds i don't know if main gear says no it doesn't say on there um so yeah if you're a jay's two cents style guy or my height 
Um, you're not going to really probably like these because they're going to be a little too small. Um, but if you like that, you know, sports car, race car seat thing going on there, I'm sure. Uh, wireless mice, six, seven, six, seven bucks. That's a big win. Um, but yeah, overall, nothing too crazy. Um, like I said, the, some of the accessory items are super killer if you're already looking for stuff. The Lenovo, I think, is a big win. It's not the most uh, up-to-date system, but nine under 900 bucks for a 3060, uh, 1150, 11500i5. Uh, the only thing that will be lacking on this is you'll probably want to eventually switch out the cooler and maybe the CPU. Um, I would kind of do that in tandem later, just sh save up for a little bit of money that way. Um, the 5600 being on sale cheaper than the Black Friday deal is a big win. Um, if you're into 3D printing, they'll have some killer deals on 3D printers regularly, so check out that. Um, Creality is a big brand. They sell Big Street Tech. I haven't heard as much good things about Big Street Tech. Um, Creality is pretty well known and then you know as far as uh there's a couple laptops that work in this um there's a couple monitors again monitors are sort of that you need to figure out your preference rather than seeing if there's a cheap one uh you need a certain size and a certain quality or maybe you just need a certain price point um and then what's super cool is all these sla printers and uh just everything else that exists kind of coming down more and more in price. So you can grab, you know, a two styles of 3D printers. You could spend 150 bucks on this and probably they have a couple of them for about 200 bucks or 270 on another printer and have all of your printing needs. But, you know, um, <laughs> let me know if there's any items that I missed or glanced over that you need more information or if I didn't link them correctly or whatever it may be. If you're just curious about a whole sector of products that Micro Center may have or if you've never been to a Micro Center, um, comment below. Uh, this is a super quick and easy understanding of what's available at Micro Center. If you have one, great. Uh, if not, there are some similar deals that will be in for Amazon that you can just order online. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.